this is the lock picking newbie and today is package day. Let's see what we have. That will see what, what kind of, what other kind of day it is. Nice package from uh, Amazon. I've actually had this for quite some time. I think since December. And what do we have in here? Ooh. Avis um, 80 Ti 50 Titalium. All right, let's see. It says lock body made from titanium aluminum, but we know from lock picking lawyer that titanium cannot stand up to gallium, which is hilarious. Hardened shackle, six pin cylinder, paracentric keyway. I have never had one of these locks. So um, I've never messed with one. Don't know what the keyway is like. Um, I did practice with a couple of 7240s, which have sort of a paracentric keyway. And I practiced with some 7440 lotto locks. I always think I'm gonna just slice my hand wide open getting into these packages. All right. Now, usually there's like a, a numeric security level on these, which I was looking for, and I do not see. There's a little sign that says UL Eco Logo, Eco Logo. No, there's no like security number. Oh well. I don't know what it would be if it had one. Here's the key. And there's the keyway. All right, so yeah, this is a different keyway from all of the other ABIS locks I have. Ooh, very nice. It's a, it's a spring-loaded paw in there, so it might be shimmable. Um, and the keyway has this... Um, has this little piece of warding sticking out here that might get in the way, but I betcha I can get at the pins this way, yeah. So if I keep my pick over down here, I think I'll have plenty of room. So there's pin one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six pins, guys. All right, the, the, um, the bidding, yeah, there's a little bit of a low pin in um, two, and then three, four, five are kind of high, and six is low. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. Mm. I think I'll enjoy a, a little wee tipple. Ooh, sipping scotch. All right, so. My next question is, what do I use for a pry bar? Because in a 7240, <clears throat> you can't get a 40 thousandths pry bar in there. Oh, but this you can. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, even though it's paracentric, the pry bar goes right in there. Very nice. And let's see if the if pin one's, oh, yeah. And we're not messing with pin one either. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Um, well, I don't remember what video it was, but uh, when I went to try to pick the 64 series, it was a disaster. So I'm hoping that um, this one goes better. All right, so uh, let's get to picking. Oh, yeah, there's one is binding. I got to click. And then over set. So let me just release it out. Okay, so I think we got one set. Two is pretty firm. Ooh, I think I over set. So let's, let's leave two alone. Three is springy. Four is springy. Five is springy. Six is binding. I'm going to try to attack it from the back. I just have a number one hook here. 
So I'm a little worried about oversetting stuff. So back to the beginning. I'm going to say one is fine. I keep oversetting two, and then I just like dropped everything. So let's get one again. I think there's like a little serration there. Okay, yeah, now one feels really good. Two feels super firm, so I'm going to leave him alone. Three feels good. Four feels like I set it, and now it's kind of springy, so we'll just see how that goes. Got a little click out of five, and maybe some counter rotation. All right, well, I don't want to mess with it too much. And then back to six definitely needs to be set, so see how much I can get. I think I need a deeper hook to get six. So I'll try this um, number seven from Peterson. I think I'm on six pack. Ooh. Did not feel good. Let's see. Uh, I think six is okay, actually. Pretty sure I've got some stuff over set right now, just not sure what. So I'm doing manual counter rotation with the pick. And then I'm going to go back to the number one, because I always get so much better feel for where the pin is with the number one. OK, yeah, this guy needs to be set. Now I got that tiny little click, and I got a big click. So looking through the keyway, looking in the keyhole, I can see there is a serration. But I don't know if it's on the key pin or not. I'll look at that later. Okay, I'm back at three. It didn't want to go anywhere. Four. Got a couple of clicks on four, really just by sliding the pin, pick in and out. And then let's try the same thing on five. All right, I'm a little confused. And it feels like I'm in a nice false set, so let me. Feel that back pin there. Oh yeah, nice counter rotation. And I think he's set now. I have to stay on this ward. It's now it's on my left. The way most of you guys hold the lock, it'd be on your right. And look, one mm, no, this is that's one right there. I'm afraid to mess with two anymore now. I gotta put that back. Oh, guys, I just dropped a bunch of stuff again. And go back to the number one hook. Got one set again. Okay, two, we're leaving alone. There, I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, let's leave two alone. But three, four, and five, we gotta set. Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me this is a seven pinner. No. Six stays up. And that's six right there. Wait, did I just cheat? Yeah, I just cheated. Okay, that's five. Here's four. Okay, so a little click out of four and a little bit of movement in the core. Now I'm going to push it some more and see if I can get a, any counter and get a set out of it. Hmm, maybe, but the pick like fell off of the pin, so I'm not really sure what just happened. Okay, so suffice it to say, uh, picked at the lock for a long time uh, with various picks, various tensioning methods. I even raked to a false set, but I have not gotten the lock picked. However, it does seem that the answer to my question from earlier as to whether the lock is shimmable, let's just find out.
Yes. And I have to tell you, I'm rather disappointed. Um, as you can see from the scratches on the lock, I, I had to work at it to get it shimmed. But because of these uh, spring-loaded paws in here, um, it's shimmable. So, you know, nice keyway, nice pins. I couldn't pick it, but there you have it. Well, uh, on, the, on the good side, uh, this is going to be a great lock to um, add to the practice pool for picking. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you all for the participation, for participation in the channel. Oh, excuse me. Mm. This is the lock picking newbie. Have a good day.